Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the built-in denoising options in Corona Render. Denoising is a tool that can be used to quickly reduce the noise in our images. This can help us to minimize the number of passes required for our renderings. Under the Scene tab, we're going to find the denoising section. We have five different modes. The first one is Firefly Removal. This option is recommended if you don't want to denoise your image, but you have Firefly problems. I only recommend this option if you have a few fireflies to remove. If your whole scene is having this issue, it's recommended to check your lighting sources or materials to find what is causing the problem. The second option we have is the NVIDIA GPU AI. This option is used for fast noise-free previews. It's not recommended for final images or animation, but it's a great option for test renders as it works with interactive and regular rendering. One of the good things and bad things about it is that the only option we can control is the amount and we can only change it in real time if we're using the interactive rendering. We need to take into consideration that it requires a supported GPU and we need to select the NVIDIA package when we install the Corona render for this option to work properly. This denoiser uses AI technology to create a smart blur and produce the details that we need on our images. The third option we have is Intel CPU AI. This option, as well as the NVIDIA GPU AI, use machine learning to denoise your image. It works 100% on the CPU. It could be Intel or AMD processors. This makes it slower and not recommended if you already have a good graphics card. Another disadvantage is that it can only be applied at the end of the regular rendering and not when we are doing interactive rendering. Dual this is not an option that I would recommend, especially when we compare it with the other denoisers. The fourth option is the Corona High Quality. This is the option I recommend to use most of the time. It works as a post rendering effect, and one of the advantages is that once the render has finished, the results can be blended with the final image using the virtual frame buffer. This helps to have more control over the noise quality on our image. One disadvantage though, is that the denoiser is only applied after the rendering has finished, so it's not possible to use it for interactive. We have two options to control our noise, amount and radius. Amount is the blending that we have between the denoise and the not denoise image. If I change it to 0.5, it means that my image has a 50% blending. Radius is the size of the blurring effect. Increasing it, helps to reduce the noise at the cost of losing detail, and decreasing it helps to prevent loss of details. I recommend keeping it at the default value. After the rendering has finished, on the post settings of our Corona Frame Buffer, we're going to be able to control the denoise amount interactively. If we change it to one, we're going to apply all the denoising effect. However, this can have undesired effects like losing details or blurriness on the image. If we change it to zero, we're going to have no denoise applied at all. What I recommend most of the time is to use a denoise amount of 0.5 to 0.75. With a 4% noise level, this can provide a good level of detail for most renderings. The last option we have is gather data for later. This option is going to store the denoising information to be used along with the Corona Image Editor and CSR format. To use it, once the render has finished, we need to save a CSR image. Press and hold the Save button and select the Save a CSR option. Then, save your image as a Corona CSR. To open this image, we need to open the Corona Image Editor. Go to Program Files, Corona, Corona Render for 3ds Max, Image Editor. You can find the link in the description below. Then, double click the Corona Image.exe. This standalone application has the same interface as the virtual frame buffer. But when used with CSR format, it allows us to change the post effects and light mids of our images without opening 3ds Max. Click open and select the image that you just saved. The first thing we need to do is go to the denoise section and click the denoise button to start denoising the image based on the information we rendered previously. If you want to change additional settings, you can press the Custom Denoise button. This will allow you to change the elements, 
that are going to be affected by the denoiser, the denoise mode, and the denoise radius. Once you're happy with the settings, press the denoise button to apply them. As you can see, using the denoiser in Corona is really easy. I recommend the NVIDIA GPU AI for your test renders when using the interactive rendering, and the Corona High Quality for final renders. You can also use it for test renderings if you're not using the interactive rendering. Just be careful of not using a high amount or you will be removing all the image details. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching.